A storm's a coming and there are sales to be found, so I have to talk fast. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2022. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. I keep meaning to come to you and then it keeps getting dark and then now literally there's like the first storm we've had in a long time is coming to Nashville. I looked so cute yesterday people because I filmed my show and I just took my hair out of a clip and like I haven't washed my hair literally in six days. It's been a long time. That's not the news. All that to say I've got all this news I want to share because I haven't come to you in so long like um, do you hear that Bronny, LeBron's son, 18-year-old, signed a deal with Nike? Um, NASA launched that uh, rocket into orbit, space, and it actually hit the asteroid that's like, so now if an Armageddon type thing happens, it can like put it off track, off course, so that's good for civilization. Um, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd reunited at Comic Con, so that made all the Back to Future, Back to the Future fans happy. Angela Lansbury died. That was sad. And New York City is the first city to experiment with speed limiting technology. Like, does that mean they can make your car go slower? I don't know. It was also International Day of the Girl this week, so I feel like that needs mentioned. So yeah, there's a lot of news. If you missed any of that, you can find it below. You can find me at the Sammy Cone on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCone.com, and on YouTube. Goodness, that sounds like tornado sirens. I'm gonna hurry. There, it's either wind or sirens. But I just want to say a lot of things real fast. Prime Early Access is happening. Last day is today. Uh, if you are so inclined, I know it's not always easy, but I'm going to put my Amazon storefront affiliate link below. If you would be so kind as to start your shopping from that link, it just really helps me and my small business, and I would really appreciate it. And my family thanks you. Um, I know I try to find lots of great deals for you. I haven't had the chance. I've been busy, um, and I'm getting ready to leave again tomorrow. And I'll tell you about that trip later. But uh, so there's just a lot of laundry and cleaning up. And like I said, I was in the studio all day yesterday. So yeah, there's something going on. So I'm going to go. Um, but just know <laughs> I'm okay. And I'm going to be trying to share some cool things. I'm going to do something with my son. And so I'm really excited about that. So all about that coming soon. I'm sorry I've been so sporadic on here. But y'all know like I can do what I can do and I don't what I don't. And try to prioritize real life living and emotions and family before uh, documenting it. So that's what I'm doing. I do want to pray faithfulness over everyone. I just pray that you're all faithful in completing what it is you have on your plate for today. That's all. Just do what you can do. And listen. Just listen. That's my other free advice. Um, it's interesting how a couple conversations I've had lately, there's a common theme that keeps coming up, which is actually asking questions and not being afraid to ask questions. Spoiler alert. That's what I Literally, I'm talking about at the end of my show. Someone else told me that today. Someone else asked me about it three days ago. So I think we're supposed to ask more questions. And my takeaway from that is that when we listen for understanding, rather than to be understood ourselves, um, we can forge greater connections and learn more about not only each other, but the world. Okay, I'm going to go before I'm blown away. Love y'all. Hope you have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.